Hey, this is the official video on how to clean the in-body image stabilization sensor inside the Fujifilm X-H1. I can't tell you who I got confirmation from this on, but I checked confirmation with this method since I knew this was the only way to clean it. Um, but uh, that confirmation has been reaffirmed, even though I can't tell you the source. So there's two things we have to set in the menus. Obviously we need to have the lens off of the camera we need to have, and this is default on the X-H1. Shoot without the lens it needs to be turned off. Okay, and we need to go over to very important, certainly the most important, all of them are important. IS mode needs to be turned off, okay? Continuous, the sensor is going to correct if it were touched by a sensor swab shooting. You don't want that on, you want it turned off. So IS mode off and shoot without lens mode also off, which is default. This, however, is not default. IS mode needs to be turned off. If you are not, before I actually go into showing you how to do this, and I've got a lot of videos on actually cleaning the sensor, the camera needs to be on, of course. Here's the third step. The camera needs to be on. If the camera is off, let me actually show you something. Let me turn the camera off. I have the two settings in the menu set correctly, but with the camera off, the actual sensor will move. And if I turn, you go, you see it's shaking with my hand. There's no, there's no uh, power fed to the IBIS mech. Once I turn the camera on, it locks into place inside the electromagnetic field. Okay. So, the only thing I actually recommend to clean is the clip solution and the photosol sensor swabs. I'm not going to take it out right this particular second. This is a DX crop sensor photosol swab. Take it out of the package. Very, very important. If you are not, before I go any further, if you are not comfortable or familiar with cleaning a sensor, do not try to clean the sensor yourself. Since the sensor is sitting on an electromagnetic field and it is also within its own IBIS mech, it is easier, potentially, if you oversaturate the swab. You should not. I see people even making videos on how to do this, and they'll sit there, and they'll actually go and turn it over, and then as it is dripping wet, absolutely do not, do not even think about doing that. You're going to apply one even drop right to the edge, and that will, of course, since it's applied to the edge, will be on both sides. You're going to apply no more then, which would be half of a conventional sensor, half an ounce of pressure. What does a half an ounce of pressure look like? I'm not going to take this out of the package. On a conventional sensor, the amount of pressure that it's actually applied, you will have this much flexure within the, uh, the, uh, the cleaning swab. You see the bend that I actually have here? We have about two and a half ounces of pressure applied. You're never actually touching the sensor. There is cover glass and an IR pass filter over top of this sensor as well. This is about two ounces of pressure applied to the sensor. Okay, you're gonna apply about half that much, an ounce or three quarters of an ounce, so you're gonna have about this much flexure in the actual sensor swap. And the way you actually do it is you take it all the way from the edge, one edge, drag it over evenly, do not lift off. Once you've reached the edge, Drag it further all the way past the corner of visibility. Do not lift up and then drag it over to the other edge. And likewise, take it all the way beyond the visible edge inwards and then lift off evenly. Okay, so apply three quarters of an ounce or an ounce of flexure to the photosol sensor swab, which is about this much. On a conventional sensor, you can actually see this much of uh, flexure on the actual cleaning swab. Do not apply more than one long drop right to the edge. Do not sit there and go drop, drop, and flip it over. And I've seen people make instructional videos which are wrong. You never do that with any sensor, but certainly so not an IBIS sensor, and they go drop, drop to the other side. Don't do that. Not only is it not necessary, it's a bad idea. If it is dripping wet or even close to dripping wet, it can roll over past the sensor on the IBIS mech and cause an issue or cause a point where corrosion could start. Don't do it. If you don't feel safe doing this, don't even think about it. If you have cleaned sensors before and you know exactly what I'm talking about and you follow my instructions exactly to the letter, then you're okay. 
I've got double confirmation on this being the methodology for cleaning the in-body image stabilization sensor within the Fujifilm X-H1. So you can feel confident in this method. So number one, the camera does need to be on. Number two, you do need to have image stabilization mode off. Point number two. Point number three. And uh, there's a button dial settings too shoot without lens on shoot without lens off which this is default it means that the camera will not engage at all actually what you could do and i'm not going to mention that but uh, just for safety's sake go into your menu and since right now i'm in mechanical shutter which means if you forgot to do that you accidentally hit the shutter release you accidentally hit it then it could fire and then you would damage your camera so roll over forgot about the wonderful touch screen stick it in electronic shutter there we go There we go. That way, if you accidentally, some are holding the camera with one hand and they accidentally hit the shutter release, you cannot uh, trip the uh, shutter mech. With a sensor swab in there, the shutter blades hitting the sensor swab, it would uh, absolutely damage your camera and cause a uh, course for recall uh, back to uh, be repaired. Excuse me. So those are your three points. Camera on, IS mode off, and shoot without limbs off. Okay. So that is officially how you clean your Fujifilm X-H1 camera with image stabilization sensor. If you like these videos, you can always drop me a buck or two, a small donation. If not, tell me to jump off a cliff. I want to make you happy. You want to keep your camera clean and safe. And this is how you clean your camera. Just remember to apply about half as much pressure to your sensor swab, about an ounce or three quarters of an ounce, as opposed to a conventional sensor, which is about two ounces of pressure. Okay, and do not, do not oversaturate your sensor swab. Do not one long drop right at the edge, okay? And these are called Photosol sensor swabs. I know for a fact the Fujifilm uses swabs just like this, however, from a different manufacturer. So Fujifilm themselves uses this exact same thing, but from a different manufacturer, so. There you go. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, enjoy your X-H1. I'm out to shoot with it right now. Thank you. Bye-bye.